Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Maytag dryer fiber washer. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new fiber washer. The fiber washer goes on the drum support roller shaft. The main reason to be changing it out is if yours is worn out and the wheels are bumping up against the brackets, causing a squeaking noise. First thing we have to do is open up the door so we can take it off the dryer. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver and remove the screws that hold the hinges on. Now that we have the screws out, we can lift the door out and set it aside. With the door out of the way, we can take out the screws and the spacers on the other side. Now we can take the front panel and pull it off. All you have to do is grab it by the top and pull forward to release the clips. And then we can lift the front panel off the bottom two pegs. Now we can use our 5 16 nut driver to take out these screws that hold in these two brackets that hold the top down. Once you have the screw out, you can lift up on it a little bit and then rotate it out towards the outside of the machine and take it off. Now we can lift the top up so we can have access to the machine. Now we can take this front panel off. We're going to use our 5 16 nut driver to remove these two screws. The third one we're going to leave in because that holds the other bulkhead in. On this side we're going to leave the bottom one in. Now that we have those screws out, we can lift this panel off. And then we can turn it around and we have to disconnect the wires on the door switch. The door switch wires are the double red, the gray, and the white. Make sure you remember on your machine where they go. Now we can set this panel aside. Now we can remove the wires from the light socket. Uh, make sure you remember where yours go. On this particular socket, the wires are two different sizes so you can't mix them back up. Once you have those unplugged, we can come down to the moisture sensor. These wires are both blue and labeled the same because they really don't matter which way they hook up. So we're just going to rehook them up when we put them back in. Now we can take off this bulkhead. We're going to remove the remaining two 5 16 screws with our nut driver. Hold this up when you take the first one out so it doesn't fall off while you're removing the second one. Once you have them both out, we can lift this bulkhead out and set it aside. Now we can reach in with our left hand underneath the drum and grab the idler pulley and pull it outwards towards the side wall. And then we can use our other hand to take the belt off the motor pulley. All right, now we can lift up on the belt and guide the drum out through these little cutouts in the side walls. Now that we have the drum out of the dryer, you can see the two rollers, one on each side in the back. There's two washers on each roller, front and back. Make sure you change out as many of yours that are worn. In order to get the roller off, we're going to use a snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring. If you don't have a snap ring pliers, you can use a small flathead screwdriver and kind of get in there and pop it out of its channel. So we're going to use our snap ring pliers. When you put this on there, make sure you only stretch it out far enough to get it off that axle. You don't want to bend it out of shape. Now that you have it off, we can pull the wheel off. And there's the first washer. The second fiber washer is back against the piece of white metal that holds the axle. All you have to do is pop it off with a small screwdriver and then you can pull it out. 
Here's the old fiber washer next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. We already put the other washer on the back and the wheel is back on. Then we can put the new fiber washer on the front. And we're going to take our snap ring pliers and hook it up to the snap ring so we can put this back on. Remember, you just want to open it enough just to get it over the shaft. Once you have it in the groove, you can let it go of it and make sure it's locked in there. You can pick up the drum with the belt and guide it through the little cutouts in the cabinet and set it on the rollers. Once you have it in place, make sure that the grooves are towards the drum and then we can go underneath and wrap the belt around the idler pulley. First we want to grab the idler pulley and pull it towards the side wall with your left hand. Then you use your right hand to make a loop in the belt and put it around the motor pulley. Now that we have the belt on, we can put front bulkheads on. We can put the first bulkhead back on. You want to make sure that the seal is lined up with the blower housing. And then you want to make sure that the drum rides on these glides. You may have to lift up on the drum to get it to go in. Once you have it lined up and pushed in, we can put in the 5 16 screws to hold it in place. Remember we only had two cross ones holding this in. Now we can reach down to the bottom and pull the wire harness out. We're going to do the light socket first. Remember it was the blue and the gray, they're two different sizes. So we're going to hook those up to the light socket. And then we're going to come down and grab the two blue ones that are the same. Remember these don't matter where they go. All we have to do is push them on the connectors. Here's the door switch. We're going to put the wires back on now. Make sure you hook them up the same way you took them off. Ours was double red, gray, and white. Now that you have the wires hooked up, we can rotate this panel around and put it back in the dryer. We can lower the top down. You want to make sure that the little plastic lining pins go into the holes. And then we can replace the metal brackets. Remember you want to make sure that the hook points towards the outside. So you want to kind of put it on and rotate it in. Once you have it in place then you can use your 5 16 nut driver to put the screw back in. We can put the front panel back on. You want to make sure that the holes on the lower panel go down onto the brackets. And then we can rotate it up and make sure that these locking brackets on the top snap in the holes. We can take our Phillips screwdriver and put in the Phillips screws and these little retainer tabs on this side. Then we can put the door back on. We have to line it up so these little tabs go in the little slots right there. And then we can put the screws in. With the screws installed, we can close the dryer door. Now that you're done repairing the appliance, you can plug it back in and give it a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.